Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this 15 inch AEC display from 4 CCFL to our UB54 series LED kit. This kit comes with the one, two LED strips, one LED driver, one screen wire harness. So let's set aside a um, kit, take a look at the screen. This screen is made by NEC. The screen part number is. It's NL10276BC30 04D. Again, NL10276BC30 04D. This is um, actually a 15 inch display. You see the inverters here, and uh, this is LVDS interface. So, first, we have to remove the wires okay, from the inverters. Just be careful, you don't want to damage your wires, it's just like that. Okay. Here we go. Okay, if you look carefully, there's a plastic clip. I'm not sure you can see it or not. There's a plastic clip. You need to push it down and grab the wire, slice out. Just keep push it down. See that? So it's quite easy to take it out. So you take it out. Let's set aside this display first, okay. We take a look, there's a backlight. This is C2 CCFL. Okay, so here's our UB54 series. Perfect, we can mount it right on the bottom. It's flat, it's perfect. But the only thing, in order to remove that, you need to desolder this end. Or you can just simply use a cutter to cut it and pull out, that's it. And then desolder this. I have a solder station here. So let me show you here. Desolder the wire. Take it out. Okay. Tilt up this one a little bit. Here we go. And then what you need to do is that you, you, you pull this wire, you heat it up this solder joint this side. Here you go. See that? Took it out. All right, it's removed. This is a really old display. Um, if you can see the reflector, there's a special coating. See, it's become extremely dark. See this coating. So you can either just you know scratch off, or just leave it like that. It's okay because. LED is different. LED is we call top lights. It's not like a CCFL lamp. They have a 360 degrees light shining to. So that's why they use a special coating to make the, the light come out in one direction. But for this one, it's okay. So what I do is that before you peel it off, well here I want to scratch a little bit because this is damaged already. Okay. Okay. Took out a little bit and just end. Peel it off. Just stick to it. Make sure you sit in the center, in the middle of uh, reflectors. You can just push it. That's it, one is done. After you get done, you slice right back. Click. And then you can add a piece of wire, that's usually I do, um, just to secure the LED wires. And one is done. For this side, you repeat the same procedure, and that will be it. And but inverter, you can mount back to the same location, which is uh, you take this one out. You don't need old one anymore. Take it out. Okay.
Oops. Okay. You can mount it whichever the way you want to. You can mount it right because there's a plastic. You can just stick to it directly. Use a double side tip, or you can just use in a uh, adhesive pole. Okay. Stick to it. Okay, just connect this one to this side. Just like that, you know, you peel off this, stick to it. And also on the input wires, where is for input? It takes, it can, uh, input range is 10 to 24 volts. Black is power one. White usually no connection for the brightness adjustment. But yellow is really important. We call enable, which is turn this driver on and off. If your inverter does not have an enable feature, what you can do is that basically you just say, uh, let me keep short out this JP2. When JP2 is short, all you need to do is just apply a positive to wet, negative to guang, and we'll light up the LED strips. So you see how easy it is? There's no solder involved, only the solder because of this particular screens. And we also have a controller kit available too. Please check our website. Thank you for watching.